you know, when I was 15, 16, uh, actually 14, 15, and 16 years old, um, lived in Dunedin, and there were only really two of us as teenagers that were consistently in church at that time in the Dunedin church. That was my good friend Warren Brown that uh, we've, I've stayed in touch with all through these years. He now lives in Brisbane. Um, but I have spoken about this many times to, to many people. There's three or four, maybe five people who've been extremely instrumental in my life, and probably in most cases they don't even know it. And this is one of them. And, and he didn't do anything great. <laughs> all, all that he did, all that he did was took an interest in Warren and me. And all that he did was invite us to come along on those strenuous backpacking trips in the Hollyford Valley. And, but that had a tremendous effect on me. The Lord. Uh, I seriously doubt that I would have continued as a believer in God without Len and people like him. So I just want to take this opportunity to publicly thank you, Len. I've thought about you um, numerous times through the years and um, have looked forward to the opportunity here today to be here, catch up with you again after all that time and to thank you from the bottom of my heart for your taking an interest in me. And, you know, I notice you've got a bunch of young people here in this church and uh, I'm sure that you as adults are taking an interest that's often all it takes to seal the decision for eternity. Take an interest. Well, I praise the Lord. Um, this was a surprise. <laughs> I, um, I was quite surprised to hear that you'd come back to New Zealand, having spent so long in the States. But we had some good times mm -hmm. back in the Hollywood, didn't we? We sure did. Praise the Lord. I still have those photographs. I think uh, you looked a little younger then. I think I did too. <laughs> <laughs> 